Come in. Sorry to interrupt you, boss, but there's a woman here to see you. She actually told me to tell you there's a uh, broad here to see you. Her word, not mine. Yeah? She wouldn't tell me who she was. Said it would spoil the surprise, but uh, she said you guys were old friends. Are you the broad who wants to see me? Hello, handsome. So I knew you were in town, but I was figuring out when you're gonna come visit me. Same old Sonny, yeah. you're from Mrs. Abit. Always knows what's happening. So what are you in town for? I'm not that I care, because I love seeing you. I'm here to see Brooklyn. Uh -huh. Tracy screwed her over on a business deal, so I wanted to make sure my daughter was okay. Well, Brooklyn is just tough like you. She'll be able to take care of Tracy, trust me. Yeah, well, she shouldn't have to. But I don't want to talk about the quarter mains. I want to talk about what's going on with you, because I heard you eloped. <laughs> Carly must have loved hearing about that. Um, Carly's fine, you know? We're just trying to get along for the family. Yeah? Yeah. How's that working out for you? So how was the old neighborhood? Oh, it hasn't changed a bit. Everything is exactly the way you remember it. No. Yeah. Well, that's what I like to hear. Oh, although old Mr. Peluso, the butcher, no. he retired and his grandson took over and all of a sudden the cuts of meat were not up to their expected proportions. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I had to take him in back and show him what's what. I'm sure you terrorized him when you yanked the cleaver out of his hands. I did. And I never even had to touch the cleaver. Nice to see that nothing has changed. <laughs> so then, my Aunt Kiki, who's had one too many glasses of Chardonnay, falls flat on her face after toasting the bride and the groom. But without missing even a beat, she jumps up onto the bar, she does a full split, and then she grabs the bartender by the face and kisses him right on the mouth. Tall blonde, she was a character. Oh, yes, yeah, she was. Well, this was before she married my uncle, who was a fireman. She had a thing for firemen. Hmm. You know, we were a lot wilder back in the day. Yeah. Speaking of which, hmm. have you seen Ned or Eddie or I don't know what he's calling himself these days? I have. Right. It is so bizarre. Uh -huh. I mean, all of the Quartermains, every one of them has a different theory about what's going on with him. What's your take? I honestly don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs>